and welcome back to my channel with us, Savannah. I'm Savannah, and if you are new around here, I am 25 years old. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina with my husband, Brandon, and I do a lot of like lifestyle and travel vlogs around here. So I do a lot of travel videos. My last video was actually showing that we just bought a camper, so my husband and I will be going all over in that and doing a lot of camping trips, which I'm super, super excited about. I do a lot of kind of like hauls and just like lifestyle, how to better yourself kind of vlogs. So if you like that kind of thing, or just like daily vlogs, if you like that kind of thing make sure to subscribe and stick around i would love to have you so today i am doing a huge haul i don't know if you guys are like this as well but i feel like i do this thing where i go for a really long time without spending a whole lot of money like without buying a whole lot of things and then i don't know just like the inner shopper in me just like comes out and i'm just like all right i've saved money like i, I just can't do it anymore and i just like buy some things obviously it's calculated but I did a lot of shopping in the month of July. There were just a lot of sales going on in July, so I took advantage of all of that. So I will be showing you all of my Amazon Prime Day purchases, the Target Deal Days purchases, and then I got a huge thrift haul. It was a very unexpected, very cool story. It was honestly a huge blessing. So I hope you guys stick around to the end of the video to see that. I want to start out with Prime Day and Deal Days since Amazon and Target is something that you, if you like something, can purchase yourself. So that is the order I'll be going in, Amazon and Target and then the thrift haul. So with that being said, I have a lot to show you, so let's get started. One thing that I forgot to mention is that this haul covers pretty much everything. There's a little bit of home, some electronics, lots of clothes, so there should be definitely something for you. So starting off with Amazon is this really, really big one that was on my Amazon wish list, and my husband actually got me for our second anniversary on July 18th. This is the luxury towel warmer. It holds up the two large bath towels, or you can put like a bathroom in here, so this is gonna be perfect for me because I'm always cold, so it's gonna be such a luxurious little treat for after every shower or bath to come out to a warm towel. Now moving on to things that I actually purchased myself from Prime Day are these glass containers, so like Tupperware containers. There are 12 in the set, there's three different kinds, and these are microwave, oven, fridge, and dishwasher safe. In general, I'm just trying to use products that are more clean, less toxic, and things like that. So glass is obviously a lot better than plastic, especially if you're microwaving in them and things. So I wanted to buy these since they were on sale. The next thing that we got are these Sony headphones. These are the WH-CH710N. We got two of them. They were originally $150 and they were down to $68 each. So I got the black. My husband got the blue. This is what they look like. So they're really nice, they bend in like this, and they are active noise canceling and all of that jazz. So I just thought that these would be really nice for each of us to have, especially like in the camper and things, it's like a smaller space. So if he's watching TV or vice versa, I wanna read that we have some kind of a barrier. If you've been around lately on my Instagram, that's at with love Savannah, if you don't follow me, I have been talking so much about my Kindle. Right before our Oregon trip, I got a Kindle and I am obsessed with it. It has actually changed my life and has like made me fall in love with reading all over again. I literally read every single night at least and I crave it so much, it's amazing. So this is the one that I got. It is super tiny. This is just kind of like the base Kindle model. And this was on a, all of the Kindles were on a really, really good deal for Prime Day, but I got this prior. And what I did is I actually ended up buying the next model up, which is the Paper White. The reason that I did this is this one's waterproof, whereas the one that I have isn't. And I don't know, this one, I really wanted a white one for some reason. This one comes in black, which is fine, but I just, bought it because I was like at the pool in the bathtub like if I'm reading I don't want it to get ruined when it's wet so honestly I doubt I'll keep two candles I don't know what I'm gonna do but I just wanted to buy it while it was on a really good sale and then kind of figure it out later so this one also has adjustable warm light so um, that is that but this is not an Amazon purchase but this is another thing that I just got on this haul of mine is this Ivy and Taylor bag it is literally so sleek and so cute with all of my outfits I just put it right under my shoulder and it fits so well because it's so thin. It like isn't in the way or anything. I'm just absolutely loving it. My point with this is that this is like what I love so much. I just like any chance I get to show people this, I do because this candle fits perfectly just like right in here. It's not too snug. It's not too hard. It just like literally comes right out. It's the perfect size for it. So I put that there and then directly in the same pocket right behind it, I put my phone and I've just been loving it. Ivy Taylor has a lot of really nice bags. They're not like sponsoring this video or anything, but I do have a discount code. If you want to get one, my code is Savannah20 for 20% off. Lastly for Amazon are these Mighty Patches. I've been very blessed in adulthood to not really struggle with adult acne that much. I did really struggle with acne like growing up like in high school and I will say like I'm so frustrated at all of these brands that they didn't have these kind of things 
when I was growing up, they literally make these that are like pimple patches that are like completely clear that you can wear during the day, like so jealous. Anyways, these I've seen a lot of influencers recommend. These, I just got the nose patches. I think this will be nice just for like, I don't know, I'm gonna try them like overnight, kind of just see how that goes with my nose. And then these are just little blemish patches. I didn't recently get a blemish on my chin, so I figured I would just keep these for if any random ones pop up. You just like stick them on and then they're supposed to like pull all of the gunk out. Sorry, it's gross, but that's what they're meant to do. And then you don't like pick at it or mess with it. It just kind of gets it to go away quicker. So these. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but everything that I bought will be linked in the description box below, minus the thrift haul stuff. That way, if you want to get it, you can. Moving on to Target, and I literally cannot wait to show you what I got from here. First off, when I was in Oregon, I really was just craving a pair of bike shorts. I really only have one pair of bike shorts that I really like, and they're from Pink. And so I really wanted to get some nice new ones. Like, I want to have a lot of black ones because I'm, like, really obsessed with the oversized graphic tee and bike shorts look. So I was considering going to Lululemon or Athleta, but we all know I would be spending like a lot of money on one pair. So when I saw that Target Deal Days was offering a lot of different bike shorts for a really affordable price, I snagged them. So the black pair of bike shorts I've already worn, but these are super amazing. They are seven inch bike shorts. They're high waisted and they're from All In Motion. They have these pockets on the outside and I got this in a couple different colors. So the black, and then I got this really pretty purple and I got this really nice like sort of corally color. And then I also got one more pair. These I've worn as well. These are mid-rise. I wouldn't have bought them if I realized they were mid-rise at the time. They go slightly below my belly button, but these are really nice. They don't have pockets on the outside, but they do have a pocket in the front. And I believe that I got all of these pairs of bike shorts for $10 each, which is a super, super good deal. Next, I got two oversized graphic tees to go with my bike shorts. And I believe these are $7.50 each, which again is incredible. I got this really pretty floral shirt. It is so nice. It's just like a light green and it has these like flowers all over and kind of like a stencil design. This is from Fifth Sun. And then I have one more. Just wait till you see this one, okay. It says, what would Dolly do? And it has this like picture of Dolly Parton on it. And I just think this is so funny. Like when I showed my mom that I bought this, she was like, what are you doing? But Dollywood is in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, which is like near Gatlinburg. And I wanna go so bad. So I'm going to be wearing this there. I literally can't wait. And when I say that, I do not have a trip planned there, but now that we have our camper, I'm just manifesting it into existence. It has to happen. The next thing I bought are these amazing little rain boots. This is the Camille boot. I have the black pair. If you saw my pictures from Seattle, I was wearing these in black, like, the whole entire day and they're just so so incredible so when i saw them in this color i think the color is called bone and they were on sale i had to snag them these next shoes are the only things that i got from target that were not on sale these shoes actually inspired me to get on target which made me realize that deal days existed so thank you to these one pair of 40 dollars sneakers for making sense all this extra money but that's okay i love everything i got these are the mad love mandy sneakers so this is the box the brand is Mad Love. It's the Mandy sneaker in the color blush. They also have them in black, and the black is really nice as well. They're very similar to the Steve Madden sneaker. So they have the rhinestone detail here and on the other side, and they're just kind of like chunky, but like also feminine, and I just love them. I think they're super, super nice. So I feel like I will be using this as a gym shoe, kind of just like not a running shoe, but just in the gym. I just think they're so nice. And then this is the bottom. Lastly, I just found a little bulletin board to put in my office to spruce it up so I could put little motivational things on it. And I found this little crushed velvet bulletin board. So this is the packaging it came in, but this is it. So it's actually just like foam. It's really flimsy, it was really cheap. It has these little rose pins that are gold. And I honestly think it's gonna look so nice in here. Like, look, you can see with the rest of my decor. It's gonna be really nice just for, like I said, tiny little motivational things, Polaroid pictures, whatever. I love this. Moving on to the thrift portion, of this video do you even see how many clothes are back here you probably oh, well the chair just tilted that's how you know there are so many clothes on here so let me tell you the story basically i shared on my most recent daily vlog that i like to sell my clothes on vintage so vintage is another form kind of like poshmark but if you're a seller i think it's really nice because it doesn't charge you all kinds of fees like 
Poshmark does. Anyways, I've been selling on and off on there for a long time. And basically, I randomly saw in one of the forums that this girl was saying she had a lot of Flop, Banana Republic, kind of the brands that I wear in like the sizes that I wear. So she's like a lot of like extra, extra small, extra small petite, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I want to sell them like really cheap, like a dollar a piece and whatever. So I was kind of interested because I don't see posts like that a whole lot, but I was like, wow, these are my exact sizes. So I'm gonna just check it out. So I clicked on her profile and I saw that she lives in Concord, North Carolina, which literally neighbors Charlotte. It is so close. That's literally where we bought our camper. So that is like a very reasonable drive. So I messaged her and I just said that. I was like, hey, like I'm in Charlotte. Would you wanna meet up? So I went to this girl's house, Brandon went with me and I went through like six huge tubs of clothes. And she was like, just basically like, fill a garbage bag, like $50 per garbage bag. So I was going through, it was just so much. And like Brandon was helping me go through and like pick things out. And I came away with two huge garbage bags of stuff for $80. And I am thrilled. Like when I got home and I washed everything, and I've looked through it and I've even like worn some of it now. I love this stuff so much. So let me show you some of the things I got because this is incredible. I severely needed clothes. So rather than me going out and buying a whole wardrobe, which would have been so much money, I got all this stuff and I'm so happy now because I have cute dresses and skirts and activewear, like so much stuff. This is honestly like the biggest blessing and I am so happy. So I just wanna share with you some of the pieces that I got. The first thing alone to me is worth $80 itself. So I just got this back from the dry cleaner. It is a trench coat and it is perfection. The little strap is in my closet, but like I said, I just go back from the dry cleaner so I'm trying to keep it nice but I have wanted a trench coat my entire life. Like probably even before middle school, I've wanted a trench coat and any opportunity where I've seen them, they just haven't been right. And this one is perfect. It is, it's perfect. I'm so happy. Okay, the other jacket that I got that I think is so cute, and this is also very mean, kind of another style I've wanted forever, is this little like kind of nautical looking jacket. It has a rain vest sort of material and I think it is so precious. I figured this would just be so much easier standing. So the first one is this really pretty dress. It would be perfect for the beach. The second one is this striped little number. Again, just very casual. I can just really wear this anywhere. We all know dresses are so nice because you just, it's one outfit and then you look so put together. So things like this one, I've already worn this one and it is just so casual and nice and flowy and light. I love it. This one, I don't think it's gonna fit. I think it's it's a small, I think it's a little bit too big. So you'll see that on my Vinted. A lot of this, if it doesn't fit, it's gonna go on my Vinted. So check that out in the upcoming weeks. This is Banana Republic. It is a maxi dress. This is the whole way to the floor. It's just like a really pretty print. And then we have another dress that's long. I don't think it's a full maxi. It has like that eyelet look, but it's light blue. It is so so, so pretty. And then this is a really good work dress. I'm not positive that it's my vibe, so this may end up on my vintage as well. But as a J. Crew dress, it's one of those like kind of t-shirt fitting dresses where it's just kind of like boxy, but I do think that these look really nice on. And then I have this dress from Banana Republic. It is a perfect work dress, just like perfect business attire. And then there's a ton of these. These are the most simple dresses that you can really dress up or down, mostly down. They're just really casual, but I have it in blue. This one is a little blue print in an army green, a little blue color. And then I have this black maxi dress and this I've already worn too. Sorry that this is so fast, but there's so much to get through. Next, I'm gonna show you some tops and tanks. First of all, this that I'm wearing right now is from the Thrift Haul. I love it. It's so comfortable and so chic and beautiful. All right. So the first thing is this loft tank top. Great for work, great for, you know, whatever. And then I have this. I feel like these plaid, really light button down things are really in right now. So this one has a ruffle, it's really cute. And then I have the same print in like a longer typical button down style. And then this one I think is so cute. It's just a little t-shirt and it says take a hike, but I just bought a camper so come on little work tank from who, what, where. Guys, and these are all my sizes. Like, they're all extra small. It's perfect. It's Banana Republic. That's more of a raspberry color. This, like, I don't know. I don't know if you want to see these all. Like, I, I feel like I can't show you everything, but like, I just, I can't believe it. And then these are more casual. I've worn this one. I love it. This one, love it. And then even this, like, oh, so cute. Next, I'm going to show you the pants and skirts. First, as far as like work pants are concerned, Look at this. There's white, it's like sort of gray slate color, this color, this color, and this. And then these are all like the pants that are 
like that. Some of them are cropped. I don't think they all are, but like, can you even beat this? Remember all of this $80 skirts. Some of this made up on my vintage because I don't know that they all fit, but little yellow one. This one is darling. Like to me, I'm obsessed. I really, really hope this one fits. Like I said, some of this I've tried on, some of it I haven't, but I really wanted to show you guys first. So I was trying to keep it all together. A little blue lace one. This I think is precious. I think it's so like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like 50s, 60s, which I totally love. It's kind of like little like housewife vibes. This is a little pink sort of corduroy skirt. This one I think is beautiful. It has like those pleats in them. I really do like floral. I'm definitely a floral person. I got this little bikini top. I'm not sure if it'll fit me, but I think it's total aerial vibes. This skirt I'm obsessed with. I already wore this. It's from Target and it is it's darling. It is so nice. And then I got this little nice activewear set. This is the top. These are the bottoms. And it's just like this matching set. I've already wore it to yoga and it's perfect. All right, I've already decided I'm not going to show you everything because I don't want you to get bored and it's just seriously so much. But these activewear tops, they have the cute detailing in the back. And these are so nice because literally, like I said, I just had crop tops and like you don't always want to be in a crop top, you know? I got cardigans. I got sweaters, which are perfect because I'm always cold. There's a ton more in there. There's sweaters. I won't show you like some of the wintery stuff since I know we're in the middle of the summer right now, but I'm just so thankful. So I just want to show you like that is so exciting. Exciting. I'm not typically a thrift girl, but just seeing this and the connection, like I'm just so thankful. It's so sustainable. I got a pair of really cute socks. I got my mom a pair of leggings. I got my sister a couple things, like this little shirt. Like I like corgi butts and I cannot lie. Like so many cute things. So just really, really thankful. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching my videos and sticking around. If you hit that subscribe button, it will help you to see more of my content coming up. We'll have a lot of travel and camping trips and other really exciting things. But I love you guys so much. Remember, everything is linked in the description box below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like it. See you in the next one. Gotta say